uh, what do you expect about tomorrow for the first set, first pro league game? Well, we're just excited to get out there. Um, you know, the past couple of days we've been getting, getting used to the guys in the locker room, and you know, everyone's great. Um, just excited to get out and play a game again. You know, practice and everything kind of gets repetitive. Um, it's always nice to go out and play a game, especially with the with the crowd here that I hear they draw. So uh, I'm really excited about it, and it should be fun. How much are you looking forward to being here in Brooklyn? You know, instead of a small little town. Yeah, it's a, it's really great um, coming from Purdue. Especially, it's not uh, not very big, not very big fan base either. So it's really exciting to um, you know have a lot of fans that you know show up to these games. And um, like I said earlier, I'm just really excited, and you know it should be a fun, fun game tomorrow night. Are you surprised you were sent to Brooklyn, or you had you really know what you were going to do? I really had no idea until um, until earlier last week. Um, I had an idea that I might be coming here, but I was really excited when I when I did get that. Um, when I did find out officially, so um, ha I'm happy to be here and, you know, got to get some wins. What are some of your big goals for this season? Uh, I want a championship. Um, they, they shouldn't be, you know, any different than what they've been before. Um, you know, there's a great group of guys that, you know, that I've met so far, and um, I think that we all have, you know, a goal in mind, and that's to win. And I think that that's important, and, um, you know, I'm excited to go out there and do that. No, we spoke with your teammate earlier in email and he said that he values your veteran experience because his team is younger than in years past. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I mean, absolutely. There's other guys in that locker room, too, that, you know, have experience as well, not just me. Um, you know, I'm new to this as well. Uh, this is, you know, my first, you know, minor league game tomorrow night. and um, I'm excited about it. And, you know, there's a lot of good players, but, you know, I'll, I'll be there to, you know, try and try and show them what I can and, and help them if I, if I need to. And, um, you know, we'll go from there. But I mean, I, I'd say right now, uh, I'm no no, ex no more experience than they are from a minor league standpoint. Because um, tomorrow night's my first game as well. So. Do you think age affects that will affect the season? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I think the work ethic, and if you're putting good hard work in, and, and um, you know, I have a plan at the plate, and you know, on the mound, I think that, that that's a big a big key to having success in baseball, especially. But uh, I mean, I, I have played a couple more years than maybe some other guys. Um, but, you know, that's just how it is, and, you know, I don't think that that'd be too much of a difference. Yeah. This is not your normal, you know, single-A team with the crowd and everything. What have you heard about it, and what are you expecting? Uh, I hear they're, they're fun. I heard, heard it's fun, a fun place to play. I hear it's the closest thing it, uh, is to play in the city field. Um, you know, just the fans are rowdy. They get into it, which is nice, and it's always nice as a, as a player to have the, the fans behind you, and it, it gives you that little extra edge and motivation to go out there and win. Uh, so, so I know you've only been uh, with the team for about three days, but uh, what do you expect about tomorrow? And have you had any tips from some veteran teammates about playing in New York? Um, not really. I just um, just work hard. You know, you never know who's watching. So just just run everything out, play play your hardest, and um, everything will take care of itself. You know, if you're doing those things right. Um, I try not to focus on you know, results as, as much as I do with my hard work. You know, I think those are the things you can control, and like the results will take care of themselves. Um, I haven't personally, you know, haven't had any veteran guys, you know, talk to me really about it. But um, being at City Field the other night, some guys did say it was a really fun place to play, and they really enjoyed it, and you know, said, said to have a good time, and, and uh, wish, wish me luck. So, what are some things that uh, Coach Donnelly is telling you guys in the locker room to uh, improve on last season? Uh, just, just play hard. Um, I don't know too much about last season to be completely honest with you, but um, I know that we all have, you know, one goal in mind, like I said earlier, and that's just to win. And I think that we can. Um, control our work eth work ethic, and um, you know, pick each other up when you know people are struggling, or and um, you know, just you can, can never get too high, never can, can get too low, and I think that's important, especially in this game. So I think we're we're all excited about tomorrow night, and especially for the rest of the season. Now I see you're a Mets fan. How do you feel about playing against the Staten Island Yankees? Yeah, well, it's definitely exciting. You know, a little rivalry there, a little bit. So um, I'm excited about tomorrow night, and um, you know, should be a great time, and you know, hopefully we'll come out with a, with a good first opening night win. Your impressions of Brooklyn so far? I like it. It's fun. You know, I, I, I like it a lot. Went to this, went to the Mets game last night um, with some of the guys, and you know, came back. I'm starting to get the hang of the subway system a little bit, so uh, I took the subway in. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, I'm probably gonna stick to the subway, man. I don't like all that traffic. Oh, okay. You working your metro card? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got it figured <laughs> you know out. Not a zip. Yep. Got it figured out yesterday. So. Okay. Starting to get the hang of it. Have okay, you gotten the idea that Rich is gonna wanna have you guys be aggressive at the plate? Yeah, I mean, we talk about it as an offense, you know, hitting fastballs early, um, you know, hitting balls in the zone early in the count, um, laying off pitchers' pitches, and um, I think that's an, an important key to being successful in baseball is just being aggressive at the plate and, you know, um, you know, swinging at the right pitches rather than, you know, taking a, a swing at those bad pitches. And, um, I mean, yeah, I think being aggressive is, is very, very big key.
your thoughts on the ballpark so far? I like it. I like the little backdrop and the little breeze coming off the ocean. It's a lot cooler here than it was down in Florida, so I, I definitely like that a lot as well. So um, it's really neat, and you know, I'm excited to see uh, what the fans bring tomorrow night. You have to have some buddies in the game, some of your friends who went to different places, maybe not a big city like yeah. New York. Uh, what are some of your feelings of your buddies going to smaller towns, things like that in the minor leagues? Well, I mean, I'm just very fortunate enough to be in a city like this. Um, I know other guys are in the middle of nowhere, and you know, I'm playing in, in front of I don't know how many people, but not not as many as I hear that come here. But um, I, I guess I can't really control that, but I'm, I'm happy for them as well, and you know, where they ended up. So uh, I'll definitely be following them as well, and I wish them you know but success. So you know, very fortunate enough to play at a great park like this. All right, Kev. Thank you.